birthday. Live like it day, my birthday. Got drip for the hoes that's thirsty. Get hat on, got no word ways. Got ice cream, no make. All right, this is a part two to the story. My last story on my page. If you're not aware, go back and watch that video. Um, but this is a part two on all the information of what exactly went down. Oh yeah, don't forget. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, Cash App is Chicago Love 2019. Now this is Lafayette's mother, okay? She was not playing no games. This is the young lady that y'all heard snapping on the mother before. Talking about mess with, you know, some kids your own age and stuff like that. She wasn't playing no games, and this is what she says. She says, the police not looking for my son or his brother or his girlfriend. That be Michelle Riley lying. You got one coming. I don't play about mine. Now, she didn't took matters into her own hands because... Like any mother, if you heard that your kid was accused of something so vile, wouldn't you take matters into your own hands? Now, her kid is being threatened all over Facebook and everything else, so this is what she had to do. For her, please. What's the mother's name? Lafayette Baldwin. And it doesn't give anything as far as that goes. So it's nothing on Lafayette, and Lafayette don't have to come in or anything, correct? No, he doesn't have to come in or anything. Okay, thank you so very much. Next video she posts. Here's a recording from the police officer, why people lying on them. Share, share from Antoine, which is, as we know, it's his brother. She called every police station in the area to find out if her son was wanted for any allegations. And... This is what she found. No, no. There's nothing past to the investigation on it right now. Okay. So maybe the ones to talk to about any of this, but I don't see that name anywhere on the report. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. Not a problem. All right. Have a better day. You too. Bye -bye. After calling the round, she finally was able to get in touch with the officer that actually took Michelle's report. And this is what she says. She says, now y'all can hear me talking to the officer who took Michelle's police report. Still, nothing on Lafayette has been reported or was reported. He don't have anything to do with this. So leave them alone and stay out their inbox talking about y'all going to kill them. Share, share, please. And I can understand this woman, you guys, because who wants their kid to go through this? Well, who would want their family to be labeled as some kind of rapist? Like, come on, man. So... She's doing whatever she got to do. I touched her four-year-old. Who's your son? Lafayette Baldwin. Lafayette Baldwin. Okay. But when um, I called and I keep getting information stating that they have nothing on my son and we call CPS, they have nothing. But Tori Lopage that she's on, that she record this on, my uh -huh. son is keep getting death threats. His brother is keep getting death threats. The girlfriend is keep getting death threats. Like people coming up to my house, people in my inbox, my sister inbox. And this is ridiculous. And we trying to figure out what can we do? Because this is beyond ridiculous. We even took the kids to even go get an STD test. Now she's not happy trying to say they already got cured already. But come on, it's come on. What do you what else do you want now? First you said you wanted us to, yeah. to do that. Now we did that. Now you're trying to say, oh, we didn't gave them antibiotics. So I'm trying to figure out what can we do because this is ridiculous. Cause do you have a do you have an email address by, by uh, chance? Yes, I do. Like, if I give you my email, could you email me like your phone number and uh, email, and then I will forward this on to the uh, detectives that are going to be taking this case over, and I'll see where they're at. And yes. I'll email you, or I'll have them email you if that's cool. Okay. Because I don't really... I, I took the initial report, and then it got passed off. Uh -huh. So let me do some uh, tracking for you. It might take, like, a couple of days. Okay. But uh, that that way, I'll give you my email, and then we can all uh, stay in communication if that's cool. Okay. 
Cause yeah, All this right, is being. Just let me know when you're ready. Ariana, get a pen and write it down for me. The pen right there on the table with the paper. After the other mother started snapping back, the other mother started getting blamed. Michelle started getting blamed, basically saying that she was lying and someone else on the other side did that to her child. So at this point, it's like, what happened to this baby? Who did this to this baby? We just need to find out who it was. And all I keep getting is these statuses, is these comments on statuses, all this shit stating that I'm lying. I done made this up because I got some kind of vendetta against these kids and all this extra ass bullshit. Motherfuckers talking about there is no police report, that nothing happened to my child, and all this extra ass bullshit. So, for every motherfucking body that want proof that I didn't just randomly wake up one motherfucking morning and decide to say that something happened to my motherfucking child, here y'all go. This is who y'all can contact. As y'all see, that says mobile sexual assault treatment. Motherfucking sex. That's who? Yeah. Fuck you motherfuckers. Fuck everybody who is against my motherfucking child at the end of the motherfucking day. I don't give a fuck about what nobody feel. What nobody think, I don't get no fuck. One person has went and took a test to try to clear their name, and that is Lafayette. I have not seen proof that nobody else has tried to go and do nothing. As far as motherfuckers calling the police and they're talking about there's not a report, y'all just seen. I posted the district, which I've been saying all along is District 3, and it has an incident number at the bottom. Go and get that motherfucking report for you motherfucking selves, and y'all can post that bitch for me. Thank you, but I'm not worried about a motherfucking piece of paper when my motherfucking four-year-old was insulted. So fuck all you motherfuckers. Understand that. His mother then says, screw this. I'm going to clear my son's name. So she goes to the hospital with him, and then she writes with the picture, here with my son, clearing his name, because I don't got time for motherfuckers got me effed up. And I don't blame her for that at all. This is why I'm kind of questioning the sister because you're not checking up on your little sister, but you asking how he's doing. I thought they were together the whole time, but apparently they weren't. And she's talking to her boyfriend's brother. And she writes, I'm still sorry you had to go through this. He writes, no love loss. She says, I miss you. After they finish talking to each other, his mom writes a message. And she writes, not everybody looking stupid. Antoine and Lafayette's STD came back negative. Now what's it like? They are ghosts now. And ain't nobody ghosts but y'all. Detective still calling and y'all not answering and responding. Please tell me why. His mother then responds with B. Ain't nobody called me. Get the F out of here with that BS, B. He adds, you are trying to make yourself look good, B. It ain't working, but the detectives got my number and email, B. Michelle says, now here we go with the BS again. Which one is it? Nobody called or he got your info? I'm confused. Lafayette's mother then posts this video. I touched her four-year-old. Who's your son? Lafayette Baldwin. Lafayette Baldwin. Okay. But when um, I called and I keep getting information stating that they have nothing on my son and we call CPS, they have nothing... But Tori Lopez that she's on, that she record this on, my son is keep getting death threats. His brother keep getting death threats. The girlfriend is keep getting death threats. Like people coming up to my house, people in my inbox, my sister inbox. And this is ridiculous. And we trying to figure out what can we do? Because this is beyond ridiculous. We even took the kids to even go get an STD test. Now she's not happy trying to say they already got cured already, but Come on, it's come on. What do you? What else do you want now? First, you said you wanted us to yeah. to do that. Now we did that. Now you're trying to say, oh, we didn't gave them antibiotics. So I'm trying to figure out what can we do because this is ridiculous. Cause.
Do you have a do you have an email address by by uh, chance? Yes, I do. Like if I give you my email, could you email me like your phone number and uh, email, and then I will forward this on to the uh, detectives that are going to be taking this case over, and I'll see where they're at, and yes. I'll email you, or I'll have them email you if that's cool. Okay. Because I don't really, I I took the initial report and then it got passed off. So uh-huh. let me do some uh, tracking for you. It might take like a couple of days. Okay. But uh, that that way I'll give you my email and then we can all uh, stay in communication if that's cool. Okay. Because, yeah, all this right. is being... Yeah, let me know ready. when you're ready. Ariana, get a pen and write it down for me. Get a pen right there on the table with a paper. She then posts, B, I don't have to lie about nothing because I called them. Michelle says, that's NPD and old. They been gave the case over to the detectives. Laugh out loud. I said detective as in detective minor. You know, the one y'all been avoiding this whole week. His mother responds with, B, ain't nobody avoiding him. That detective gave Mr. Minor my information, as you heard what he said. So like I said before, ain't nobody called me or emailed me, B. Stop lying, B. You got my number. Give it to him again. And she says, you know you love to lie. Then Michelle responds back with, I did that. Y'all not answering. She says, girl, take your stupid butt on somewhere. Ain't nobody been calling my phone. So it's like, I don't know. It's like a back and forth game. Like, mm. It's like I'm really confused because at first it was between the four kids, remember? And now I'm only hearing about Lafayette and his girlfriend. So I'm just confused at this point. Um, who's really in this and who's giving dna i'm guessing all the kids she said dna 100 100 let's get it then under that she posts so 11 people interviewed all six men gave dna i appreciate everyone that has showed up 100 100 glad i don't have to question y'all loyalty after the test results came back negative this is what his mom came back and had to say about the situation first she started posting basically the doctor's notes showing that she took him to the doctor and this is what the doctor said it says lafayette was seen today and tested no symptoms at the time results are expected early next week and as soon as she got the results she told her friend she says right but my son doctor just called and his test results were negative i guess she must have got kicked off the internet for threatening the other young lady but as soon as she got back on she says i'm back I was just blocked because the family reported my page. I don't give a F. My son and his brother and his girlfriend are innocent, but y'all still mad. F that. I'm not playing no games. I'm coming for everybody. This S is serious. Y'all got this family F'd up. After that, she makes a post. My son doctor just called. B, his test results negative. B, you stupid H. I can say this woman is not playing about her kids. After that, she goes after Tori. This is the guy that originally did the interview with the mother, Michelle. And she says to him, my son's doctor called. His test results were negative. Now what y'all have to say? He says, send me the results. If he didn't do anything, he has nothing to worry about. She says, I don't have them. The doctor called today, but I'm going to go see Monday if I can get it because I need them. Then she adds, you keep saying he has nothing to worry about. Yes, he do, because you and Michelle said they did it. Now they are getting death threats. Y'all falsely accused them, and that's a crime. Tori says, I am waiting on all of the results, and thank you for making sure he is tested. He ain't even out the clear until all tests are sampled, STD and DNA. Just tell him to keep participating with whatever needs to be done. Wow, this guy acting like he the detective. I'm just saying. And if y'all don't know who Tori is, he's supposed to be an activist in the community. Um, I've never heard of him, but yeah, whatever, okay. Then he adds, I understand your frustration, but we just getting started, queen. I do thank you for being involved. She said y'all funny, but I'm done. I'ma let my lawyer deal with y'all from now on. Have a good day. Then Tori threatens her and says, LOL, I welcome it. Tell them to call me ASAP. I'm going to put them to work. Thank you. She says, I don't care. I Stop texting me. I forward them your information. Then she goes and talks to her friends and says, if Tori Lowe would have did his job right, 
by getting my statement too, then maybe this would have went this far because the kids wasn't on the run at all. Then she responds to another lady. She says, I'm not disrespecting you. I'm just being me and honest, but you said my son wasn't being cooperative, but he was. Like I said, when we find out, that's when Tori Lowe went live the next day. I took my son to the doctor. I mean, what else can you do, though? And my thing is this, because remember the other lady said she came to the house and everything was gone and... Then somebody pulled a gun, and somebody jumped out the window. Like, it was a whole scenario. What happened to all that? Anyways, she says, we don't have to do DNA. Because she was responding to the other lady saying DNA next. She says, we didn't even have to do the STD, but we did, like the police officer said. Lafayette and Antone and Kayla don't have anything to do with this, so now worry about your household. Michelle says, oh, we coming for that DNA. Believe that. And his mother writes, I don't care. You mad because you wanted it to be my son. Who did that? But B, not today. Check your family. She says, F her. She not important. Michelle says, no, I'm not. But Detective Minor is very important. And his mom says, girl, move around and go figure out which one of your family members touched your child. Because B, it wasn't my son. I don't know, y'all. I'm starting to believe, like, it gotta be something else because for that baby to already have an STD, something had to have happened before. Michelle responds with, again, you know I'm not, but Detective Minor is very important. Then some other lady says, now, see, that's all I'm saying. What about her daggone boyfriend? Hmm, I was thinking that, too, because I did see some pictures of her and a man. Then Kayla, her daughter, finally arrives, which is Strawberry. She says, y'all bashing me now. I wonder if it's going to be the same energy when the troop comes out. P.S. Everybody can stay where they at because my baby sister was my BFS. I would never let a soul hurt her, and I'm going to tell the whole story soon. I'm letting the attention seeker get their little attention from this Facebook crap. Then Michelle responds, tell the story, crap. I want to hear it too. Just stay away from me and my kids from now on. My daughter ain't your baby. You haven't even asked if she okay. Not even to the people that you are in contact with. But believe me, I will never let her out my sight again for MF to cross her. Hmm, and then the daughter says, you don't know anything. I didn't ask you to comment. I haven't made a post or nothing because she wants a show off of this. I'm not giving it to you. I was already told what you said. When I asked about anything, the truth gonna come out. And that's all I'm waiting on. Not a conversation from you, ever. A hundred. Then her mother says, girl, leave me alone. You with your family. She says, I been left you alone. You want attention, you ain't getting it. And she says, girl, like I said, it's not about you. It's about the real victim, my baby. Her daughter says, exactly. Not about you. And I was confused at first, you guys, because she kept saying that my baby got taken away, you know, in the first video. But she didn't mean like that. She was just basically saying that her sister had taken her baby to, you know, help clear her mind or whatnot. And her kids was everywhere because all this stuff was going on. But we're going to pray for this baby. We're going to pray that they get justice. I'm going to keep y'all in touch and hopefully... We can find out what's going on. She did say that she was thinking about going on Steve Wilco's when I asked her. So hopefully that is an option because that, I think, will bring a lot of answers to her questions. But that's only going to be if they got the right people on that stage. I'm just saying. Until next time. Like it day my birthday Got drip for the hoes that's thirsty drip, Ain't shit drip. for a bitch I'm worthy Get hat on got no word oh, ways Got no ice cream no make fur Hey you guys check them out They have a biker short set It's currently marked down It's metallic neon long sleeve crop top And matching biker shorts They have a lot of nice cute little outfits Go and check them out Smoking out the pack, these runs got me smack. Think it's that, won't call, get you whack. On point like a tag, bitch, I don't play. No, this hustle gon' pay. Oh, feel like I'm gon' take. Oh, fan ball like it's play. Oh, three wheels fan the face. Oh, dog shit like I'm Nate. Dog, three strikes, then you gon' shit. You get one strike, fuck a base. Ball running through the bands, huh? Counting up them bands, huh? I cannot pretend with you, I am not your friend. If you ain't put in, huh, then you get no ends, huh Ball and break the rims, swerving potholes, watch the rims, huh When I walk in, hit the kill switch
switch Stain these hoes, I'm an ill fish Ain't good with no meal tick Gotta come up like real quick Do you feel this? Do you hear this? No bitch No games, huh? No switching, no change, huh? They flyer than planes, huh? My trip leave a stain, huh? Uh, you can't get it out Ooh, I'm up, I get it now Ooh, what's that? Just spit it out Ooh, you dry, you sit it out Running through them bands, huh? Counting up them bands, huh? I cannot pretend with you I am not your friend, huh? If you ain't put in, huh? Then you get no ends, huh? Ball and break the rim Swerving potholes, watch the rims, huh? No games, huh? No switching, no change, huh? They flyer than planes, huh? My trip leave a stain, huh? Uh, you can't get it out Ooh, I'm up, I get it now Ooh, what's that? Just spit it out Ooh, you dry, you sit it out Running through them bands, huh? Counting up them bands, huh? I cannot pretend with you I am not your friend, huh? If you ain't put in Something else I just wanted to put out there, you guys. This young guy, Quentin, has been missing for going on five days now. He was behind his grandmother's house. His mother was at work. And all of a sudden, he just disappeared. She went to go put her tools up from gardening. And she turned around and he was gone. So please, please help find this little young guy. And he has autism. So it's kind of giving me Braylon Noble vibes, but... I'm going to pray for the best, and we're just going to pray this little boy gets home safe, even though it's been five days. Oh, Lord. On another note, we got a young lady. She has been missing as well. Her name is Jalea, and she has been missing for the past couple of days. I don't know if she's missing or she's just with this guy, but it's looking like she's missing, you guys, because her family has taken over her Facebook page, and... They're basically working with detectives now trying to figure out where exactly is she. She turned 18 not too long ago. And a lot of people are speculating that she just turned 18 and she left. She wrote a post not too long ago saying when she turns 18, she's leaving town. But that's another subject and we're going to get to that shortly. Um, probably the next video if anything. But keep a lookout for both of these young people. And till next time, see you again.